What is going on, everybody? Devinator here, and we're back on the Chaos Black version of Pokemon ROM Hack. So, we've already gotten our encounter through here. Pretty sure we can't go through there, but we can jump down here. Okay, oh, encounter here. But we've already gotten our encounter in this area. And that sucks. Look at this thing. I wish we would have gotten that thing. But, uh, in case you guys were wondering, uh, <laughs> that's not very effective. And in case you guys were wondering, yes, Lion Boy was a higher level yesterday, but this game does not want to save on the Retron 5. It crashed uh, when I went to save it. But if you guys have a Retron 5, you'll understand how it works. Um, you don't have to have a, a save state. If you open it up, it should pick up right back where you left off. So we're going with that. <laughs> that's how. That's what this series is relying on. So in case, you know, you were wondering, that's that's what's going on. So we're just now getting Lion Boy up to 8. But we still, I went back through and caught the rest of our encounters. I'm not going to go back through and, um, I didn't go back through and re-record it or anything stupid, but... You guys are just going to have to believe me. I didn't cheat it. The Nuzlocke is still what it is. I'm going back to heal and buy some potions. I think I'm going to... I don't know if I have any money or not, but I'm buying some potions. And a few more Pokeballs. How are y'all doing? It's Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, go ahead and get... How uh, I many we got? Uh, we're going to take seven of those. Seven potions. Yes. And we'll take a few antidotes. We'll take five antidotes. And let's get a couple Pokeballs. So now we're broke. We got 80 bucks to our name. Oh, you don't have enough money, I know. I pressed the wrong button. So let's go uh, heal our Pokemon. And a quick recap of the team. We'll do that here. We'll go to our Pokemon. We got Lion Boy. Uh, he's a level 8. He's a fire type. Uh, then we got Shizzard. I don't know. I know it's Pidgey Sprite. Okay, so it does have its own typing. It's a normal poison type. And his name is Shizzard. Keen Eye prevents loss of accuracy here. Then... Nah. I'd say it's about like a Caterpie or whatever. This is Caterpie, actually. And it's a normal bug type. It is... A spe its ability is Shield Dust. Prevents added effects. So I'm not sure what that is. But we got Taze, Shizzard, and Lion Boy. And they've got the regular sprites. But we know what they are. <laughs> but it's cool. I didn't know if they'd have the normal typing or not. But they don't. So I'd say that thing that we encountered up... In that uh, route that we were just on. Maybe an ice type of some sort. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and heal up here. And get ready to head back out on our adventure. This is episode 2. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. But uh, I didn't complete my last Nuzlocke. And I don't want to do that again. So we're going to make sure that we complete this one. Uh, and I'm not uh, the greatest Pokemon player. So just kind of bear with me. We'll get through this together. We'll learn. Chaos Black is obviously new to me. I don't know if any of you have played it, but it's new to me. Um, I haven't played Pokemon in a while. I've been just now getting back into it. So who we got? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Hopefully we don't fucking lose. This is our rival. So we're going to take out... Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. This isn't good. Okay. Oh, that crit probably mattered. Oh, no. I don't want to sack off anybody. This ain't good. I should have trained up before I came over here. I didn't know. Oh, no. No, no, no. We'll use the same one. This ain't going to be good. It's level 9 also. We'll hit it with a growl real quick. Lower its attack status. And then we're probably going to have to heal. 
Did not use a water attack. It didn't use a water attack. We'll go for a second growl. Lower its attack even more. That's what we're going to have to rely on. Tackle. We'll use a scratch. This is risky business. Okay, that's good. It's only taking a, a couple points. We'll do another one. And we'll heal right here. We'll go ahead and use a potion. It should restore us almost to full health. One point away from full, full health. So I was kind of freaking out. Looks like it's nothing. So we beat our rival. We're getting ready to anyway. We're getting ready to beat our rival. Um, I didn't realize it was coming up this soon. But he's got this. And it's a water type. So it's going to be super effective against Lion Boy. And here comes the Tail Whip. But um, it's pretty much too late. You should have done this earlier, bucko. Whenever I lowered all your attack statuses. So there we go. Lion Boy is almost level 10. So we defeated Rival Gary this time. I heard the Pokemon League is calling with tough trainers. Blah, blah, blah. So what's this way? Now that we beat our rival, we can kind of just head over this way. Oh, shit. That was an accident. This, this hyper key controller is a little tricky, fellas. If you have a... You have a Retron 5, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it takes some time to get used to. I'm better with it. Oh, shit. Say that, and I start doing stuff I don't want to do. But I've gotten better with it. Oh, what the fuck is that? Holy shit. That's weird. I, I didn't see that last time. Oh, no! Go ahead and use Ember again and kill it. I wish that was my encounter. That thing looks fucking cool. We've already got our encounter for around this area. Lion Boy is up to level 10. Might be some time to start switch training. I want to get Lion Boy up to a decent level. Pretty close to evolving, actually. Before we start doing some switch training. So I can make sure that he stays safe. I don't want him to die. Oh, so look. Ratata, Ratata is in this game. No... Special sprite, no special mon replacing that. Rattata is in the game. Tackle. I should be fairly safe against his mons, but it's better safe than sorry, especially in a Nuzlocke. And I'm not trying to lose my starter. If you lose your starter, you're going to be hurting throughout the rest of the series. Is this, uh, this is the Pokemon League, I think, isn't it? Yes, that's the Pokemon League front gate. So there's where we'll need to head back to at the end of the game. I wonder what legendaries there are. I wonder if the one on the cover, like the box art, is the legendary. Not sure. I'm really excited to be playing through this. I, I like these ROM hacks. They're really cool. They're really neat. It brings something new to the game. Ah! You're hiding back here, potion. We got an extra potion for free. So, I, I really like these ROM hack games. It brings st new stuff to the games that we already know and love. I could mix it up. Uh, I want to. I don't know if you guys want to see all this uh, just Pokemon stuff exactly. If you guys do, let me know. This is Viridian City Pokemon Jam. I really don't want to challenge that just quite yet. I want to make sure that we get um, Lion Boy up to a decent level, and then I definitely want to make sure uh, we got our Shizard and. Taze up to a good level also. We'll just, just train in the grass here. Go ahead and take these guys out with quick uh, embers. This should one hit kill them with ember. But yeah, I have like a ton more of these. I have probably, like I said, 10 of these all together. And there's still more that I haven't bought in. Uh, that I see all the time I could get I want to I definitely want to get one of those um, either outlaw or uh, cock version those are funny and I want to do a playthrough of those a nuzlocke of one of those those are hilarious I wish I had this thing on my team Abel I wish I had you Abel but unfortunately I'll never be able to encounter you here 
I can't have you, Abel. This is why I hate doing nose locks. I, I love, I'm like the, a perfectionist when it comes to Pokemon games. I will sit there, and I can grind for hours and hours and hours and catch every Pokemon in the area before I move on. And it, I am, I am probably the worst one to play Pokemon because I will literally take all day long playing a Pokemon game. And I know it's that's not good, but that's how I play them. That's how I play Pokemon games. A lot of people get enjoyment out of speedrun them, not me. I get enjoyment out of completing everything. I want to have a complete Pokedex as much as I can through one version of a game. So that goes ahead and kills that. Lion Boy up to I want to get him to about 12 or 13 before I start doing some serious switch training. Probably about 12 or 13. And then I want to go heal before I switch train. But I definitely want to do some switch training in this area. Especially with my lower level Pokemon. I've got to get different encounters other than that. Here we go. Ember should wipe it out. It does. So I want to keep these videos a little shorter. About 20 minutes is what I'm thinking. If I can keep them at about 20 minutes, I'm happy. I think you guys are happy. I want to make sure that I'm not doing them so long, but I want to try and do as much as I can. So if I get a little carried away, they might be give or take on each episode. I'm shooting for 20, but they might go over under a little bit or so. I think the one uh, yesterday went at about 22 minutes. I've got to add my intro and all that kind of stuff. So it'll, it'll vary just a little bit, but right around the 20 minute mark is what you should be seeing for these videos in this series. Unless I lose track of time, which I have been known to do. I am terrible at keeping track of time. I, uh, I'm bad at that. Uh, something I will admit that I'm very bad at. But we're getting a lot of encounters throughout here. We're leveling up Lion Boy. We're going to start switch training here. And this is pretty much what this is going to be. I'm going to try and get everybody up to a decent level where I'm comfortable enough. I've got about 8 minutes left of recording or so. I'm going to try and get everybody up to a good amount, a good level. I think I'm going to start switch training now. Uh, so we'll put... Um, We'll put Shizzard, and this is what sucks. I had level 4s on both of these, but I just went ahead and made sure, just to make sure I got them, nothing stupid happened. I made sure I went ahead and caught them, and this is the level that they gave them to me. I encountered and caught them. That's okay. I just wanted to make sure I had them on the team. So I can only tackle. We're going to go ahead and switch out and go to Lion Boy. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I hope, I'm really hoping that this game doesn't crash or anything stupid happen because I, I want to complete this game. I want to finish it. Ember Growl is going to lower my attack. So, oh, it killed it anyway. So that's cool. Shizzer will gain 34 experience points. He's almost ready to level up. I think I saw whenever we looked at his summary, he needed 48 experience to level up. So he's getting pretty close. We'll probably get Shizzard up to, I don't know. Six, seven, somewhere around in there. I might let him uh, around that level start attacking things on its own. Start leveling up itself. Try and get it boosted up as fast as I can. But I definitely need all of these mons. I don't want to. I don't want to go into the rest of this game without having them at a decent level because <laughs> I know it will not be good. That one quickly. Damn. I need some good encounters here to get some the most XP I can. Another Shizzard that probably won't be very good XP for us, especially for as low a level as it is. I probably could take that, but I want to switch train him some more. I don't want to risk losing them. I'm a very safe player, especially when I know I'm playing a Nuzlocke. I don't want to lose any of my players because I know I'm not the best Pokemon player. I'm going to need every Pokemon I have. <laughs> And that's the truth. Then you guys will find that out as the more we go on and barely leveled up. 
That's okay though. Lion Boy gained basically no experience. So Shizzard is up to level 3. Taze is at level 3. Lion Boy is at level 12. And this is going to be a really bad place to encounter, I feel like. There, this one. These ones give out a decent amount of experience points. So um, we'll go ahead and switch out back to Lion Boy and, and sweep this guy. Get rid of him. I'm really liking the Pokemon designs, though. Uh, they look really clean. They look really good. And they don't look... They look like Pokemon that they would just throw in there. I'm not really sure and keen on the names for all of them. Like, that one, I don't know what this is. It's called Minite. It's not bad. It's not a bad design. The name's not bad. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it fits in. Shizzard gained some good experience points. These ones are good experience points to encounter. Lion Boy's probably not going to do much leveling up throughout here, but... The main one that I'm worried about is definitely Shizzard, and then I'll get Taze up to a, a better level also. I, I'm just very nervous about going into there with only Lion Boy as being my main Pokemon to fight that gym with. I shouldn't be worried. I should be fine. But I don't want things to go south. Let's go ahead and hit him with an Ember. It kills him, no problem. Shizzard should level up, and he does. Hopefully we learn some new moves here soon. No, I don't think we learned anything there. Nope. So just going to keep encountering right through right here. It's going to be a very boring episode. I'm going to do my best to keep you all entertained, but this is it. I'm grinding out. Nuzlocks. I'm not losing people. I'm not losing my team. And Shizzard's getting ready to level up again. So we're getting pretty close to where we're going to... I'm going to feel comfortable battling Shizzard, getting him to level up quicker getting these levels quicker and then uh i might actually switch to taze here for a little bit and then we should be ready to battle the gym leader at least by next episode i wanted to do it by the end of this episode but i only got a few minutes left so i don't think i'm gonna have time to do that shizzard is level five his stats are not the greatest but he learned sand attack I don't know if they'll learn the same like attacks as Pidgey, because that's technically what he's based off of. His sprite is he replaces Pidgey. So I don't know if he'll learn the same things as Pidgey would or what. Oh, that's not good. Tackle him again. I thought Peck was going to be super effective against Shizzard. Uh, I'm switching out. I don't want to lose him. Definitely going to switch out. I should have probably kept fighting with him. But that would have done some serious damage. We'll go ahead and Ember him to death. There you go, Lion Boy. Take him out. Lion Boy melts through these guys like nothing. Shizzard gained a good amount of experience points. Lion Boy, it doesn't really help him much. Is this a rest place? Can I rest my Pokemon here? Uh, no. This is nothing good for me. So we're going to go heal because we're getting kind of low. I'm getting low PP on uh, Ember, so I'm just saving enough health and everything in case we have encounters on the way back to the Pokemon Center. Um, that's weird. That's weird. Can't walk there. Huh. Oh shit. Am I stuck? I hope not. I hope I'm not stuck. I'm kind of... I'm lost. <laughs> Shizzer could probably take this one out. But we're going back to all reliable. We might have to use a potion on him. Tail Whip. No big deal. I'll Ember him real quick. Take him out. So we should be able to start off this video uh, Sunday... Pretty close, almost ready to face the gym leader. Shizzard grew to level 6. His stats are still eh, but we're definitely relying on our starter here a lot. But that's usually how it goes on these Nuzlocks, especially with the ROM hacks. I've noticed the ones that I've seen, the ones that I've watched with Nuzlocks of ROM hacks, your starter is pretty much your, uh, pretty much your bread and butter there. And if you lose him, you're kind of in trouble. 
the other mons might evolve and become good mons. I've seen that happen a couple times. But you have to get pretty lucky for that. They could be just shit. And I don't want them to be shit. <laughs> I've seen uh, one of the games that I really want to play is Pokemon Uranium. I think that game looks awesome. That, that looks beautiful. That game is awesome. I really want to play through Uranium. But uh, I'm really liking this one. It's basically the same feel. It's it's almost the same game. Pretty much the same thing as Pokemon uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green. I think this is what the game is made after. Fire Red, Leaf Green. It's the same game. But um, really not. But it's not. It's the same map. Same mission. Same everything like that. But it's got new mons. It's got cool stuff. I don't know. I like these ROM hacks. I think they're a great idea. I think people who make these ROM hacks are good. They're good. And I, I bought this. So it's not like I'm sitting here. I buy every Pokemon game. I buy, um, I'll buy the new ones. So I don't feel like I'm really necessarily stealing, in quotation marks, from the Pokemon company itself. Um, it's just something that twists to the games that we know and love. And people have put hard work into this. But you can definitely tell what they're based off of. So I don't feel like it's really necessarily um, stealing. I don't think... I think if you play these, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with playing the ROM hacks. I think it's perfectly fine. Let's go into this cave. Oh, we have to have cut. Shit. I don't think we have cut yet. We do not have cut yet. Damn it. I wish I had you, Abel. You look so cool. Oh no. I might have to switch out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna switch out. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Lion Boy. Charmander, Sprite, whatever. And then I'll probably end the video here. So we don't get too long. There we go. Just go ahead and get rid of it. That makes me feel a whole lot better. The Shizard. Good experience. Uh, I think we're going to leave off here, guys. Just go ahead and do a quick team recap. Shizzard is at level 6. Lion Boy is at level 12. And Taze is level 3. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you do enjoy this series as much as I do. And if you want to see more of these ROM hack game playthroughs, be sure to smash that like button. Show continuous support throughout this series. And I'll be sure to bring more Nuzlocke of the ROM hacks to the channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you guys.